So in this part, we are going to be setting up everything we need. So basically, we need two things. Microsoft Visual Studio 2019, and we also need SQLite Windows Runtime, and we can download both of these right here. Again, if you are joining for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. And I also assume that you don't have all these IDEs or application development tools in your system. We are going to be installing everything we need as we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to Google. So let me just create another Google window here and simply go to... Well, actually, from my website, you can just go to the link right here. So I'm going to click on the link and it takes us to the link uh, to download Visual Studio. Simply download the Professional Edition or the Community Edition. Either of them is okay. Now I've downloaded it and installed, so I'm not going to repeat the process. The second step says download SQLite for Windows Runtime. This is not SQLite or Sava, but SQLite the Runtime. So once you click on this link, it takes you to this page and then you can download right from here and then run the installation and that will be easy. I'm not going to be going through this because you should be able to do it by now. So once you have both of these set up, that is fine. Another thing I would like to recommend you do is uh, you can open the completed application. What it means is you can have the complete application available so that once you miss out something, you can always uh, check which part of the code is missing, for instance. So let me just show you. In my repository, you can find the application. So if you go to type Kineson GitHub, you can get to my repository, Kineson the Genius on GitHub, and go to repositories. So you can find the first one right here on top, Hospital MS. So if I click on it, and you can see the files, so you can go to the directory, and you have all these files right here. So basically, we are going to be doing a setup. So this program.cs will be created today at this point and other files. So basically, if you have any challenges or you mix up something, you can go directly to the code, uh, right in GitHub, right here, and check what you are missing out and then fix it. So for now, having installed Visual Studio and also having installed SQLite, what I'm going to do is to simply open Visual Studio I'll open Visual Studio 2019 because that's what I'm using. And at this point, it comes to this window. So what you're going to do is to create a new project. Now, you click on create a new project. It comes out with the, uh, the project definition window. Now, you need to pay attention. Of course, the steps are right here in my website. So it says, so let's wait for a second. All right, so it opens up to this place. So make sure you choose. So you can just type here MBC and make sure you choose ASP, ASP.NET Core Web App M Model View Controller. So once you select it, you simply go on next, okay, and give it a name. So I'm going to call it Hospital MX, that's the name of the application. And I think everything should be fine. I'm going next and .NET of 5.0. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I think everything is okay. I wanted to go back one step to show you something, but it's okay. So what we created now is a new .NET Core application, and that is fine. So I'm going to kind of uh, shift this window right here so I can see the two windows at the same time. All right. So the next step says um, download the template. Now, we need to set up the template. But before I do that, I'm going to just run this application. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we, what we have for a brand new application where we've not done anything. And so I've clicked on run and let's wait for a couple of seconds and let's see what happens. Meanwhile, just take note that the next step say download the template. So this template is free and it's called SB admin free template. 
So while we are waiting for the application to start, I'm going to simply click on the download link here on my website and it takes us to where we have the template. So this template we are going to be using is free and now the uh, application runs and this is the start page of the application. Let's see. Yeah, so this is what we have. So if you come to this point, it means everything is perfectly okay. So I say it has to be ASP.NET Core. So I'm going to stop it and we are going to now download the template and set up this template. Now if you, if I maximize, I can actually uh, preview this template and see it looks real nice. It's a nice template and this is what we're gonna be using. So let's go back and just download it. So to download it, simply click on, um, let's see, I think there's a download, free download right here. So once you click on free download, it downloads to your download folder. So if I open my download folder at this point, I can see that it downloaded right here. So I can right click and simply extract files and extract it to a folder in my download folder. So you can see it right here. So this is what we have right now. So how do we set up this on our application? This application is already deployed, is, uh, the, um, is production ready. So if you click on the index page, it also opens on your local system. As you can see, it opens right here in my drive D and you can navigate and go around and so on. All right, so let's go back. So let's look at the instruction on my website. So let's see. So the next step says, uh, just give me one second. So, yeah, so you know, some adverts are always on my website. That is not a problem. So this is where we are on zip the template into a local folder. Step two says copy the content of the JS folder from the templates to the WW roots JS. All right, so let's go to the template. Copy the content of the JS folder, which is this tool. I'm going to copy the tool. I'm going to copy the tool. And I'm going to my application to WW root to the JS folder. And I'm simply going to paste what I copied. So I pasted the two items I copied exactly the way the steps say in my website. Step three says, copy the content of the CSS folder from the templates to the WW root, WWW root CSS. So let's go back. This time, the CSS folder, I'm going to open it and copy the content, which is just styles, I'm going to copy, onto the CSS folder right here. So I'm going to just paste, and that is fine. Now, make sure you don't make any mistake because you're going to screw things up if you make some mistakes. Step 4 says, copy the assets folder, the whole folder, into the WW root directory. So I'm going back to this place and this time I'm going to copy the assets folder, not the content, the assets folder completely. I'm going to just copy it into the www root directory so i'm going to just paste it right there now that is step four now step five says open the layout underscore layout of csatml file in your project and find the views shared folder uh, you can find it in the views shared folder and delete all the content so i'm going to my application now so i'm going to the views i'm going to share it and i'm opening the layout folder so layout here which is this one so i'm going to simply open it open so it's open this layout folder and the instruction says the instruction says delete the content of this folder okay that's scary but it's okay so I'm going back to the layout folder. Give me one second. I'm going to delete. Give me one second. Uh, all right. 
All right, so it does instruction on the website, so I'm going to delete and delete everything. I've deleted the content of the layout folder. And the next step says, which is step seven, copy the content of the layout.html from your templates and paste it in the layout.cshtml. So now I'm going to go back here from the layouts. Um, let's see, let's see. The instruction says, copy the content of the layout.html uh, from here. So this is the layout.html. Uh, Let me see. Uh, let's get it right. Okay, so we have two layouts. We have the layout static and the layout name light. So let's check either of them works. So there's the layout static and the other one is the layout name light. So it's actually the content of the layout static. So I'm going to just right click and open it with Visual Studio 2019. So I'm going to copy the content of this and paste it in my layout.cshtml. So I'm going to copy everything. I'm going to copy everything from here and paste it right here. Okay, that is fine. And finally, I hope the final step right now. So let's see. Now, the main slash main section, locate the main slash main section and replace it with this code. So I'm going to copy this code and replace the main slash main section. Now, this setting up of templates sometimes is one of the uh, a big tasking uh, aspect of this, but it's okay. Once you get it, you are done. So you can see the main slash main section. Okay. So the instruction says replace uh, the main slash main section with the code you copy from my website. So I'm going to simply delete here and I'm going to paste the main slash main section, I replaced it. And the next step says, now for now it may be a bit uh, tasking, but if you do it a couple of times, it becomes like, at this point we are done with setting up the template, and now you can launch the application to check how it works. So now I'm going back to my application and I'm going to launch it and let's see if everything works well. So I'm going to uh, launch it at this point, let's see. And meanwhile, let me just check I'm not missing out anything. Uh, so no, I'm not missing out anything. All right, so it's starting up. Let's see what we have and let's see if our setup worked. Let's see if our setup worked and that will give us a great head start to know that Perfect. So our template is set up. We have our basic layout of the application right now. At this point, we've completed part one. Thumbs up to you if you got it. If you got to this point. So in the next part, we are now going to continue with setting up our models for the hospital MS. I'm going to stop here. Remember, if you have challenges, let me know in the comment box below. Uh, also, feel free to look at the repository. My repository is a public repository for this application. You can always find if you are, find something if you are missing out anything. I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.